I say it like it is, but you still don't get it. My life, my vulnerability, and you laugh at my jokes, but fuck! My life, rocked by the cunt that came before. But it's okay. I'm used to being pushed in the corner. Nothing matters. And I have said that so many times. And yet I say it again. My life. Nothing but a blimp of your script. A flint to your fire. I sleep. I rest. I ignore. But it continues. In front of me and beside me, it continues. And to be that voice that, that makes one understand, to stretch to one's limits is at most a stretch. But it's so important, necessary, for the stretch of living and observing, to learn and grow and evolve. The importance of all don't refute, because they struggle to make it fit their perfect little lives, but all I do is struggle to fit inside the box that they made for me. My parts, my bits, too obscene, but also the power they bestow upon me, I cannot deny nor fight. I speak from my position of privilege, yet I do not restrict my life. It's yours for the taking. And I wish that my life was enough. Enough of a reason for you to destroy it all in your wake. But it ain't. And you will take me and my sisters with whom I cannot fully relate. And you will break them with your privileged hands and your unbroken skin because they broke it for you. They loved the existence and broke the soils with respect. Find it, because you can't have none. And you need to understand that the life of others precedes everything, because when you live to put them first, you find existence. But what? What could evoke such a response, such grandeur? I could never. And so you hold me, aloft yet adrift, together as one and as none. I couldn't believe it took so many hours, so many girls. And you leave me asunder. I could never fit. I can't believe I'm here again. That's all. That's the joke. My life.